Now, now we are going to solve one another uh, numerical problem of a piece wise interpolation. In this uh, numerical problem, we are going to fit a piece wise quadratic polynomial. Similarly, means uh, as uh, earlier we discussed piece wise linear interpolating polynomial. Now, we are going to solve one numerical example, uh, numerical problem in order to find out a quadratic piece wise quadratic interpolating polynomial. So, in order to save the time already we write a write the problem. What is the problem? Problem is a obtain piece wise quadratic interpolating polynomial for the function f x defined by the data at x equal minus 3 f x is a 369 at x equal minus 2 f x is a 222 at x equal minus 1 171 at x equal 1, 165, at x equal 3, 207, 207. After uh, finding the quadratic interpolating polynomial, piecewise quadratic interpolating polynomial, estimate the value of a f2. So, what is the solution? How we find the solution? So, if we closely observe here, uh, for sake of a simplicity, we denote this data by the x 0, minus 2 with the x 1 and minus 1 with the x 2, 1 with the x 3 and 3 with the x 4 and corresponding value of the function is denoted by the f 0, f 1, f 2, f 3, f 4, f 4. So, how we solve the problem? Here, let let f x equal p x equal p x of a degree two, p two x equal first one p two one, second degree polynomial, second degree first polynomial p two one x if x lie between obviously, there is need of a 3 nodal points. So, x 0 to x 2, x 0 to x 2 and similarly, we write a second polynomial of a second degree between x lie between x 2 to x 4 means, we fit a polynomial of a degree 2 between x 0 to x 2 and one another polynomial of a degree 2 between x 2 to x 4. So, if we closely observe here, this data, uh, the data is a given for unequal class interval. So, we cannot use the interpolating formula for the equal class interval. So, here we are going to use uh, one interpolating formula for unequal class interval. So, for sake of a simplicity, here we are going to use the Lagrange interpolation formula in order to find out the value for p 2 1 x and p 2 2 x. Now, now by Lagrange's, Lagrange's, Lagrange's interpolating formula, Lagrange's interpolating, interpolating formula, interpolating formula. What is the Lagrange interpolating formula? P21, P21 x equal means uh, this one is a interpolating uh, formula among uh, Lagrange interpolation formula. Here we write a Lagrange interpolation formula for x0, x1, x2, f0, f1, and f2. So, what is the formula? This become x minus x1, x minus x2 divided by x 0 minus x 1, x 0 minus x 2, f of 0 plus x minus x 0, x minus x 2 divided by what? Divided by x 1 minus x 0, x 1 minus x 2, f of 1 plus third term be the x minus 
x0, x minus x1 and x2 minus x0, x2 minus x1 and here this one is a f2. This one is a what? This one is a using the Lagrange interpolating formula. Now, we put the values of x0, x1, x2, f0, f1, f2. So, what is the value of x0, x1, x2, f0, f1, f2? So, x0, x1 minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 and f0 with a minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 and f0 with a 369, f1, 220, 222 and f2 with a 171. So, here we write uh, this equal x minus x1 is a minus 2, minus 2, x minus minus 1 divided by minus 3 minus minus plus minus 3 plus 2 into minus 3 plus 1. This is the and what is the value of f0? f0 is a 369, 369. This become a first term. What is the second term? Similarly, plus x minus x0, x0 be the minus 3. So, this become x plus 3 and x plus 1 because x2 be the minus 1, x plus 1 divided by what? Divided by minus 2 minus 2 plus 3 and minus 2 plus 1, minus 2 plus 1 and what is the value of f1? f1 is a 222, 222 plus similarly we write a third term. So, third term is a x minus x0 means a x minus x0 with a minus 3. So, x plus 3 and x plus 2 because x1 is a minus 2. So, x plus 3 up into x plus 2 divided by x 2 is a minus 3. So, minus 3 plus 3 minus 3 plus 3. So, this become what? Not uh, x plus 3. So, not uh, minus 3. What is the value of x 2? x 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1. So, here this is the minus 1 plus 3 and minus 1 plus 2 and we put the value of f2, f2 is a 171, 171. So, after simplification we get what? We get uh, this become what? This become x plus 2, x plus 1 divided by what? Divided by minus 1 into minus 2 into 369, 369 plus x plus 3, x plus 1, x plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 3, this become 1, minus 2 plus 1, this become minus 1 into 222 plus last term is a x plus 3, x plus 2 divided by minus 1 plus 3, 2 and minus 1 plus 2, this one is a 1 into 171, 171. So, this is the, so if we simplify this, this become 3 cancel out minus 3, this one cancel out after simplification. So, already we write a simplified result. So, what is the result? Result is a 48 x square. So, if we simplify this expression, this expression give the 48 x square, 48 x square already we write the 48 x square plus 93 x plus 260. Once we verify, so this one is a result 48 x square plus 93 x plus 260. So, this is a p 21 p 21 x p 21 x. So, p 21 x p 21 x. Similarly, we also able to write a p 22 x, how we write a and p 22 x. This is the if x lie between minus 3 to 
minus 1, minus 3 to minus 1. Similarly, second polynomial is a uh, between minus 1 to 3, minus 1, 1 and 3. So, here we write a what? We write a second polynomial and what is the second polynomial? By Lagrange interpolation formula again P 2 2 P 2 2 x equal here we started we are going to write between x 0 x 2 to x 4. So, x minus x 3 x minus x 4 divided by x 2 minus x 3 x 2 minus x 4 f 2 plus second term is a x minus x 2 x minus x 4 divided by x 3 minus x 2 x 3 minus x 4 into what into f 3 plus last term is a what last term by Lagrange interpolation formula x minus x 2 x minus x 3 divided by x 4 minus x 3 x 4 minus x 2 and x 4 minus x 3 multiplied by what multiplied by f 4 multiplied by f 4. So, this is the what this is the second degree polynomial if x lie between x lie between x 2 to x 4 means x 2, x 3 and x 4. If we fit a polynomial of a degree 3 on a nodal points x 2, x 3 and x 4 and the corresponding value of a function is obviously f 2, f 3 and f 4. So, if we put these values here. So, here if we put the values here obviously, we know that what is the x 3 x 2 is a minus 1 x 3 is a 1, x 4 is a 3. Similarly, f 2 here we write f 2 is a what? f 2, f 3 and f 4. So, what is the value of f 2 and f 3, f 4? So, f 2, f 3, f 4 here it be f 2, f 3, f 4 171, 165, 171, 165 and 207. Once we verify this, this is the 171, 165 and 207. So, once we put these values here, so it is a very simple process, just put the values here. So, P 2 2 x equal what? x minus x 3, x minus 1, x minus x 4, x minus 3 divided by x 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 minus 3 into f of 2 f of 2 be the 171 171 here we write a 170 then similarly we put the value of x 2 x 3 x 4 in a second term second term this become x minus x 2 with the x plus 1 into x minus x 4 x minus 3 divided by what divided by x 3 minus x 2. So, 1 plus 1 and 1 minus 3 into what into 165, 165, 165 plus if we write a third term, third term is a x minus x 2 is a what x 2 is a minus 1. So, x plus 1 into x minus 1 x minus 1 divided by what divided by 3 plus 1 into 3 minus 1 into what into f of uh, 4 f of 4 is a 207. So, after simplification this one if we simplify this result p 2 2 x become what p 2 2 become x minus 1 x minus 3 divided by minus 2 into minus 4 into 171 plus x plus 1 into x minus 3 divided by 2 into minus 2 
into what 165 and last term is uh, x plus 1 x minus 1 divided by 4 into 2 into what 207 207. So, if we simplify more, so this become what p 2 2 x become what x square plus 3 and minus 4 x minus 4 x. This is the result. So, divided by what 8 into 171 171 plus second one is a x square minus 3 plus 2 x 3 x and x. So, minus 2 x sorry. So, this one is a minus 2 x minus 2 x because this minus 3 x and x this become minus 2 x divided by minus 4 into 165 165 plus this become x square minus 1 and this become minus x plus x a square minus b square. So, 1 upon 8 into what 207. So, after simplification of this one already we write the result what is the if we simplify more. So, p 2 2 x is a what p 2 2 x is a 6 x square minus 3 x 6 x square minus 3 x plus 162 plus 162 3 x plus 162. So, this one is a result. So, it is a very simple just uh, we write a Lagrange interpolating for formula for x 0, x 1, x 2 and corresponding values of f 0, f 1, f 2 and putting the values of x 0, x 1, x 2, f 0, f 1, f 2 then we able to fit a first polynomial similarly from uh, corresponding to the data x 2, x 3, x 4 values with the f 2, f 3, f 4 and we write a Lagrange interpolation formula between x, uh, using the values of x 2, x 3, x 4, f 2, f 3, f 4 and putting the values then we get this result. So, what is the answer? Answer how we write the answer here we write f x equal p 2 x equal first with the p 2 1 x equal to this and p 2 x 2 2 x equal to this one here x lie between minus 3 to minus 1 here x lie between 1 to what 1 to 3. In order to find out any uh, any values, so if we try to find out the value of f 2 suppose here we try to interpolate the value of f 2. So, which polynomial we are going to use uh, to interpolate the value of f 2. So, in order to find out the value of f 2, f 2 now 2 lie between what 2 lie between 1 and 3. So, we are going to use the second polynomial not a first polynomial because first polynomial is valid for uh, if the range of a value of a x is between minus 3 to minus 1. But if x lie between 1 and 3, then we use the second polynomial. So, obviously, here if we write uh, f 2, then we use the second polynomial p 2 2 x and here we put what rather than to write a p 2 2 x, here if we write a 2 again, this one is a p 2 2 2. So, just we put the value of a 6 into 2 square minus 3 into 2 plus what plus 162 162. So, this become what 6 into 2 square this become 2 2 is a 4 6 4 is a 24 minus 6 plus 162. So, this become what 24 minus 6 24 minus 6 become 18 plus 162. So, if we add 8 plus 2 we become 10, 6 1 7 we become 8 and this become 180. So, 180. So, what is the value of f of 2? f of 2 equal 180. So, this one is the answer of a second problem. So, what is the summary of a 
piece wise interpolation in a piece wise interpolation rather than to fit a polynomial of a degree n if we have a n plus 1 data because uh, n plus 1 data we fit a polynomial in a pieces of a data means uh, if we fit a polynomial in a first two data means a group of a two two data two two data datas then uh, we able to fit a polynomial of a degree 1 and this process is known as a piece wise linear interpolation and if we fit a quadratic polynomial in a piece of a 3 data piece of a 3 data or group of a 3 3 data then we say that piece wise quadratic interpolation formula piece wise quadratic interpolating polynomial and in order to solve the problem a numerical problem if we uh, try to fit a piece wise linear interpolation if our data is a given for unequal class interval then we use the unequal interpolating formula any formula uh, means uh, maybe uh, we may use the Lagrange interpolation formula as well as Newton divided difference interpolation formula. If the data is a given for equal class interval then we may use the forward backward central interpolation formula uh, for the two consecutive data two data set of a two two data. So, once we find a polynomial of degree 1, then we write in a uh, we arrange the polynomial in a p 1 1 x p 1 2 x means of first uh, a first degree polynomial first polynomial of a first degree second polynomial of a first degree third polynomial of a first degree like this one. And similarly, we fit a quadratic polynomial and write a p 2 1 p 2 2 p 2 3 and p 2 n minus 2. So, in this way we able to fit a piece wise inter uh, piece wise linear interpolation and piece wise quadratic interpolation once again at last we say that as the degree of a polynomial increases the accuracy increases up to a certain level, but after the certain level the accuracy decreases due to the round off error that is why there is a need of a piece wise interpolation. And in a piece wise interpolation we take a piece of a first a piece of a data and fit a polynomial uh, of a desired means a desired degree you may decide the degree. So, this one is a uh, all about a piece wise interpolation I hope you enjoy the video lectures of a interpolating polynomial and thank you thank you watching my videos thank you thank you very much